Yeah, James, we just showed up about 20 minutes ago to the Sagewood Apartments. Let me see you. Let me show you what we're seeing right now. You can see lots of emergency uh, police presence here outside of Sagewood Apartments. And you can see even before you get to the apartment complex, you see that huge power line down just in the walkway, the driveway that people are trying to get around. They're having to duck to leave the complex. And if you can see all the way back there, that apartment building the roof is just completely off. That is the damage that was left behind from that storm, that tornado that we saw just around 9:30, here in Utah. You can see that there are families outside tonight, people that now have nowhere to go. They can't stay in that building tonight. Um, they're in the parking lot. Uh, officials tell us Tommy Johnson, the Utah police chief, he didn't have a lot of time to speak to us, but he does say that they are moving people to Carver Middle School because there's another storm system coming in here tonight. And I don't know if you can see, but there were people People still walking around these apartments where the roof is completely torn off. You can see they're going in and out of these apartments still. Um, you can see, but the roof is just no longer there. Um, you can see some of them in the windows, maybe grabbing some things before they go off to Carver Middle School um, tonight. But uh, Tommy Johnson, Police Chief Johnson, says that there are no injuries at this time. They believe there are no injuries, but they don't know how many residents are impacted from this roof being gone and these power lines down. Um, you can see, I, I think we've seen about 50 people this evening just leaving this, trying to leave this apartment complex, head out to Carver Middle School. Um, but these aren't the only power lines that are down. Uh, this whole road really had some power lines down. And uh, you can see that these people are trying to leave here tonight go to that uh, shelter at Carver Middle School where officials say that they can spend the night there. Um, we're not really sure how long that they'll be able to stay there, but we're going to stay out here until we find out the latest information and what's next for these families, especially as that next storm system moves in. James.